Hey everybody, Brian here from quantlabs.net. Okay, so I did a mother uh, ultimate list of Python packages that you can use for quant trading. This came from a person of 10 years plus experience. So part of the plan is maybe to reactivate some of my older R scripts that are part of my Quant Leap membership. And uh, I thought, why not just give this a whirl and see what would happen? My opinion on R is really mixed. Um, I've had good and bad experiences with R. Um, so I'm going to do away with the bad, uh, try again. And uh, it's a different environment as well that I'm working on. So that should make a difference. But using R is fairly easy and to set it up. So I'm going to show you how to attempt to set it up with... Uh, um, brew install uh, for, for Macintosh uh, at OS X. So one of the best sites that I've always liked is rbloggers.com. Uh, so there's this article. Um, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just talk a little bit about brew. This is like a package manager that you can use for OS X and Mac. And uh, it's kind of like no different if you use apt-get on Ubuntu or a yum install for, for um, uh, Red Hat. So we're going to introduce you to it. I've got it already installed to get um, Homebrew installed. You just run this, and that's it. Okay, so let's do this. Uh, it's it's real simple to to set up. So obviously I'm using uh, my terminal, my Mac. So I'm just gonna type in these exact uh, uh, set of commands and see what happens. Maybe better if I just try this. So usually you have to uh, install these cat SAS CAS rooms. The uh, package manager for brew is basically installed uh, based around alcohol so you'll see things like tapping and uh, um, this cask room okay so we've already got that installed um, now we have to install this x quartz which i think is a graphics user interface Let's see if i got that so that's already installed uh, I'll just do this with the Java that's needed. I, I do have that already installed. Oh, no. Guess I thought I had it. So the next thing we have here is the set up the science um, repos. That we're going to use repositories. So I'll let this uh, install my Java, which is going to take a while. Java is a big program where the JVM is. So, and it looks like it's downloading JVM, the Oracle one. So uh, I'll give it a little bit of time. Anyways, I'll pause and come back to this when this is finished. So here we are, um, where we have Java now installed uh, with Java 1.8 or Java 8, and that's using the Oracle uh, version of the JDK. So moving along, uh, our next step is to install R. This may take a while too. One thing you need to notice is I'm using uh, El Capitan OS 10. It's the latest and current version of OS 10, not OS X. <laughs> All right, and another thing you might see regarding brew is a pour and tap and uh, what was the other one, cask. So, I'll let this uh, slide. Actually, what I'll do is uh, I'll 
install all of these. Uh, you don't need to watch me or the system uh, do it, but uh, I'll go through it and um, basically uh, show you uh, our studio on Mac OS X, all right? So here we are, we've uh, installed everything. Uh, the only trick is right here. This takes forever to install this Mac text. So I went with this basic text and it was a lot faster to install. So just make sure you take heed on that. In terms of our studio now running, here we are. As seen before in many other uh, past uh, videos. Um, let me just see if we can run R. There we go. And some other utilities in there. So it's not a bad little intro, including Java as well. Hopefully I'll help you out and talk to you later.